It's nearly 2 a.m. in New York, here in Washington, D.C., and all across America in whatever time zone, the end of another day endured in the shadow of Tuesday morning's murderous calamity fostered by people who hate all we stand for. A few miles south of this studio at the tip of Manhattan Island, the search goes on. Weary firefighters and others combing through enormous mounds of steel, glass, concrete, and dust. Endless dust. Their work fueled only by the slim and fading hope of finding survivors. A few hours from now, the sun will rise again on a day that President Bush has set aside for prayer and remembrance. And we will once again wake to the changed world, born in the fire and smoke and terror of September 11th. A world in which we must now fight to preserve the freedom from fear itself. Now, for most of you on the West Coast, your late local news is next. For the rest of you, our CBS News coverage of the attack on America continues with Melissa McDermott. Tomorrow morning, we invite you to watch the early show with Brian Gumbel and Jane Clayson. And we'll be back on the air all day with coverage that includes a national prayer service in Washington and the president's visit to Ground Zero in New York City. I'm Dan Rather. You're watching continuing coverage of the attack on America on CBS.